Hello guys, I welcome you all to Adota Farm. In today's video, um, I will just be analyzing the total number of bags of feed that you can feed your fingerlings to table size. The total number of bag of feed that you can feed your fingerlings to table size. Um, um, mind you, probably you might have heard about this in somewhere or you have, might have watched this in several on um, some other school videos and stuff. But right, yes, I still need to turn on to tell you guys so you have the ideas of you know about I mean the total number of feet that you can fit your 1000 finger list 1000 finger list because 1000 finger list is just the normal standard of on um, piece of on um, fish that you can start that you can start as a beginner or probably for people that have been into this business that um, doesn't understand to know how many bags of feet that they can fit their fish to table size and what is the table size table size means you feed your fish until your fish are one kg until your fish is one, or it's up to one kg or more than one kg into it. And this type of feed you can feed them until then your fish are up to four months. Within four months, your fish will be up to one kg and you sell them out. As of people, it's not even reach four months. Why some people it will be a little bit more than four months because due to the to the type of feed you feed them matters a lot. When you don't give a right on feed to your fish, your fish wouldn't go very fast as well so today i wouldn't be going into details telling you guys the price of each of the bag no the reason is they are um, they are not stable price of feed anymore so i'll just be giving you guys the total number of bags and in kg as well so you will have the ideas of the total number of bags and kg of feed that you can feed your fish until your fish are up to a table size which is one kg and right now i'll be using one thousand um, um, fingerlings one thousand um, fingerlings very soon i'll talk about on um, juveniles as well in one of my videos but today to just be based on the fingerlings and what are fingerlings fingerlings are baby fish that has been hatched that are up to one week or four weeks that is the difference between ju um, fingerlings and juvenile juvenile they are starting from four weeks to six weeks while fingerlings are still one week to four weeks fish so what are the total number of feet um will you give to your fingerlings in order for them to grow and grow fast and weigh up to one kg or to table size within four months so right now one first thing on that you that you need to know is the size of the feet the size of the feet matters a lot and when for first week when introducing your fish to your farm first week of buying the fingerlings from maybe the Bristol for the people that are buying the fish to and taking them to your farm the first week what are the number what are the star number or the bag of feed they give to them you know they are still very very small so you don't need to buy the feed in bags you just need to buy it in kg and the total number or the size of the feed is, is 0 0.8 mm starting for the first week the feed that you'll be giving to them must be 0 0.8 mm in size 0 0.8 mm or 1.2 mm and what are the number and total number of kg that you can give to them throughout that first week is 3 kg write it down and at the end of the video i'll be doing my analysis and i'll paste it as well so i've, I've done it already so i've screenshot it so i'm going to paste it and like this one that i just seen so 3 kg is the total number of kg that you feed them throughout that week then the second week you will go to 1.5 mm 1 to 5 1.5 mm that 1.5 mm you are still on i mean you still don't need to buy it in bag you will buy it in kg and it's also in 3 kg so you buy 3 kg of feet as well and you feed them throughout that second week you know they are still very small so they will need to pick this feet on um, gradually you know little by little then they will get used to it then before you know boom they'll start eating the feet and they'll start growing very very fast so now the, the third week will be 2 mm 2 mm so you know um, getting to that 2 mm the, the fish will, will um, i mean would have improved in their growth rate as well so they'll be growing and they'll be doing very very well so on um, getting to 2 mm the standard number of feed that you get and all that you bought for the fish will be two bags two bags and mind you in one bag is 15 kg so the standard number of bags that you'll be buying for them to start number of or the kg of on feed that you'll be giving to them during the on um, the the fourth on the, on the three week rather the three week which is on getting to 2 mm will be 30 kg will be what 30 kg just the way the feed is showing right now the way i have done the calculation and it's showing right now now the fourth one i mean the third one is the 3 mm on getting to 3 mm you will buy four bags of feed for them four bags of feed 
for your fish, four bags. So the total number and uh, total kg of that four bag will be 60 kg. 60 kg. Now, 4 mm, you buy 11 bag of feed for them. 11 bag of feed, which is 165, 165 kg of feed. So, 165 kg. For 4 mm, you buy on 11 kg. And in total, kg, you buy 11 bags rather. And one in kg, it will be 165 kg. 165 kg. Then on getting to 6 mm, you buy 20 bags. You buy 20 bag, which will be 300 kg. 300 kg. Then while you don't get into on 9 mm as well, then you buy 30 kg. 30 kg, which will be 4, um, 450 kg. 450 kg. So on calculating everything, probably from the bag of the feed, everything will be 67 bags. 67 bags. Why in total? We're going to calculate them in, in kg. It will be 1011 kg. 1011 kg is the total number or the total on kg of feed that you feed your 1000 drum fingerlings to table size. That are the total number of feed that you feed your 1000 on fingerlings to table size. Why in bag is 67 bag. 67 bag that you are going to buy. You buy 67 bag and you feed your fish until your fish are up to. 1 kg or table size so on getting to that 3 mm to 4 mm there are a lot of farmers that will change to probably a, a local floating fish or sink fish whichever one that you want to use for your fish on getting to 3 mm they will change to a local fish so mind you before I, I go into that details i just want to, to analyze some um, areas in that um, um i mean the 0.8 mm the 0.8 mm of feed any type of feed that you must give to your feed during that time must be a very nutritional feed. The feed must have all the nutritional requirements in that particular feed. Yes, if the feed is not good enough, your fish will not grow very fast. So when on getting to that area, or probably when you buy them in that first day, you know you need to buy them in very on quality feed. So the feed I would recommend for you if you are starting up this farm or if you are new into this business, I will recommend coupons or scratching feed for you. Mind you. They're a little bit expensive, but when using those type of feed, it will boost your fish and your fish will grow very, very fast. You use scratching or coupons, scratching or coupons. Those are the type of feed that are very good in terms of when you talk about the, the nutritional value, they have all the requirements in them. So buy that type of feed during when they were still on first week or second week. Then on getting to 3 mm, you can later change to a floating feed locally, a locally made one. Although when getting to that area, make sure that you find out um, um, I mean, the right place to get this type of feed because there are some people that um, they are from Lation and not good. So that's the reason why I gave you guys some formulas the other time I told, I, I told you guys about some how you can formulate your feed the other time so you can watch the videos and learn it. And if you have more information to ask me, please do well to drop your comments and I will reply to your message. And I'll be dropping my contact at the end of this video as well. You can chat me up and we can discuss more on this fish on areas of the thing. So when getting to 3 mm, you can go into local fish or so you can go into floating or, or sink one, whichever one that you want to get. So you can go into just to reduce cost of the money that you'll be using to spend in their feeding. So like I said, I didn't mean I know all the price of on each of the bag I would have just given you guys. But if you watch most of our videos, one of my colleagues, the second one, my, I mean my, my colleagues talked about the current price but that was on 2021 it talked about the current price of each each of the feet and it told, and it told you guys different um, type of feet you know we have coupons we have alaqua we have um scratching we have blue crown we have a lot of feet we have there they, they are like up to nine they're about they are like up to nine so and it told you guys the current price of it then but right now i don't know the current price but at least i will find out my information and I'll get back to you guys for people that are requested for this video I want to know the current price of the feed so I just run um, I mean I just decided to show you guys this video I just decided to make this video for you guys to know the total number of bag of feed that you can feed your fish until your fish are up to on a table side which is one kg and not just any half fish but 1000 fingerlings 1000 fingerlings so please, if you enjoyed this video and if you want more on information on this on fish business or if you want to learn more on fish business, please go to 
to give me your, I mean, your, 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 to drop your comment so and we are going to reply you. So please, and if today is your first time of watching our videos, kudos to you guys out there. Thank you for watching our videos. Please keep on subscribing to our YouTube channel. Turn the notification bell to be notified when we drop in new videos like this. Kindly like this video and keep on sharing our videos. And bye for now.